Sorry, please. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. I feel your pain. Really, I do. I'm Eric. I'm Christian. Welcome to your channel. So, we're about to open our fourth crate box. And if you don't know, it's not crate. You subscribe every month. They you send a, you a new box. A box with products from a specific place. And you can try the products they have there. And learn a bit about the country. Since you are the Fluffies, you want to do something more international. So what we do is we invite our friends from different countries to talk about it. For this one, it wasn't different. So this one, if the country has to do with lacquer, which means delicious, delicious good, yummy. In what country? Netherlands. We are going to connect to Netherlands right now to talk to Eric and Amos. Amos. They live in Amersfoort, Amersfoort in the Netherlands. And you're gonna try the box with them and there'll be a twist in this experience. Yes. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, how there? <laughs> how you doing? Hi EJ, hi Amos. Yes. Welcome to our channel. Our cave. <laughs> yes. yes. What is going on there? Um, well, we both just worked today. It's quite late uh, here. It's uh, 11 in the evening and... Um, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Yeah, a bit stressful, but... We're looking forward to having the weekend off, and we're going to Belgium yeah. for a short break and to Ghent, to Ghent, Ghent. or Ghent, or well, we're, we're, we we will if if a word is Dutch, we will pronounce it Dutch uh, tonight. So you uh, you really know um, that we're truly Dutch here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, can a, you can get a feel for the language. Yeah, you will hear a lot of tonight. I remember. Oh, I remember when I was I lived there for a bit, I had to get used to the how the and those things. And P sounds V, V sounds P, all those things. Yeah, we say how the. <laughs> I it was yeah. so hard there. Yeah, well, but you're, when I hear, hear Brazilians, it's almost like they're singing. So it's <laughs> it's much nicer to hear. Can you, can you say Schäfeninger? <laughs> no, we don't say that at all. No, no, but I, I already challenged you by saying the, the city we are from, where we live. Amersfoort. Amersfoort, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And he was born in Amersfoort. Yeah. And born which, and raised. Yeah. Which means he is a. Keientrekker. 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 Which means a K, and K is a pebble. Rock, rock, rock puller. <laughs> yeah, rock puller. Oh, okay. It's a real, real, real one. And, and I'm from Utrecht, originally. Utrecht. Yeah, Utrecht. I remember changing trains there, and the train to Nutricia, where we're going to work, there's some point before Halda, the mm -hmm. train to divide one part to go to Den Haag, the other part to Rotterdam. Yeah. yeah. I could understand the, what you're saying many times. So... <laughs> Sometimes, you, oh, I have to run to the other side of the train, otherwise I'm going to go wrong place. You really have to listen to the numbers that they're calling out before. Yeah, and don't fall asleep in the train. But if you hear in Dutch, it's hard to understand what the hell they're talking about. At yeah. some point, I was able to understand at some point, and okay, now I know which part of the train. But people could run around there, so funny people. <laughs> oh my God, go around the train. Well, that's a fun thing to do with suitcases. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a trip to, with emotion. But once I took wrong, remember, uh oh, I think I'm not going where I'm supposed to go. I should get off and change, go, go all the way back. It was a, was a mess. It was the experience. Oh, we would love to show you around when you, uh, when we, when everyone can travel again and you'll be able to come to Europe. That would be fun. It would be great. Yeah, we'd love that. You went to Netherlands again 2017? Yeah. For, no, 2012. True. 
On the way to Budapest, we changed planes in, in Amsterdam. Ship hall. Yeah. <laughs> and then we took seven hours there. So we went to see the Anne Frank's museum, took a train, and went back to the airport. Okay. Very fast thing. Right? Yeah, very, very fast. Like run, okay. run, run, run. Museum. And it was yeah. raining. So you spent probably spent most of the time waiting in line for the museum then. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we got to this pass that you as a visitor you go ahead. So we didn't luckily we didn't have to Yeah, wait. I made reservations, so ah, okay. we just got, went in right away. Because of the plane I also worried to, to miss the flight, you know, those things. So let's go run back to the airport. Well yeah. it's short, but we need to go back for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. I think there's more to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even besides Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so, ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Let's so hear the box. Ooh. The box. So, so, can you can you just shortly explain the box? How many will you get? You don't know which country. I have no idea. The only thing I did was I opened the box and I looked at what country we were going to be featuring this. Month? Who's the chick on the bike? <laughs> I don't know. I like to do stereotype thing. Oh yeah. I have Huda. Hey, Hauda. 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 But are, are these things uh, all ready to eat, or are some of these things things you have to prepare? No, no. Healthy? They're all snacks like chips or pretzels or they're munchies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to prepare, nothing. Ready made stuff. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm really curious to see if there's anything inside the box that we've got here on display. And I will reveal when it is, or, or, or I will wait till the end. So there's some typically Dutch, well, at least what we consider Dutch things on the desk here so we can, uh, so we have something to eat as well, not just look at you guys eat. Yeah, yeah. that was a torture I heard. <laughs> guys, like, they all had, got you watch eating and I can't I know. no no but let's let's I'm looking forward to this so yeah we're uh that's we're what we're here. so a question or food or both let's see yeah they have like uh, more information ah I had to prove is a steel box if you have some allergies or something ooh See, they have oh, a, there are a lot of Dutch words. Oh, oh, oh Hagelslag <laughs> was also on there. And they also have the the flag yes. as a as a sticker. Yeah, so he's opening open the thing. So, croquette. I remember croquette. Croquette, it's uh it's the only food you can wake me up for. It's his favorite. <laughs> I miss that. Okay, this looks good. Yeah. <gasps> so the first one is Ooh. Croquis? Yeah, croquis. Yeah. Croquis, yes. Bolognese. Yeah, okay. Bolognese. I, I don't, yeah. Yes, we often have this at home. It's, um, we have two brands of chips that are popular in Holland. One is Lay's and one is Croquis. Croquis is a Dutch brand. Yeah, and Croquis, um, their logo is a papagai or a parrot. Papagai. Oh, same in Portuguese. Yes, papagaio. Yeah, well, it's uh, and and yeah, of course, bolognese flavor. I'm guessing the Italians wouldn't agree. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no, how dare them? But you actually have like a lace flavor of bolognese, which is to me totally different from this one. Oh like, yeah, it's 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 strange because you would expect if you have both flavors mm-hmm. all the same thing. No, no. The coffee one is more spicy. It's more, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I have water here. <laughs> I'll smell it. It's, okay. uh, that smells like a bowl of pasta, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the mm. thing is... Not really spicy, but it's spicy-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Spicy-ish. So it's like this, a regular chip. It's a normal chip to look at. There's, some, there's something available here that's, that's, that has a similar flavor. I think it's from the same brand, and we I buy I eat it a lot. It's called hula hoops. Hula hoops. <laughs> hula hoops, and they're circular chip-like things. And um, uh, when I was in uh, in high school, this was the to-go snack for every kid. So the whole school it still is for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah but 
But it's uh, but the whole school smelled like bolognese hula hoops. Yeah, and there, there's there, little rings that, that that are like crisps or the chips. Yeah. So, huh. and they taste the same as the thing that you were eating now. Yeah, and you would put one on each finger, and then like you can <laughs> take, <laughs> take an hour finishing a bag like that. So That'd these, be helpful. Should, these should taste pretty similar. Especially okay. now, cell phone, right? You put in a ring, just you don't have to touch your, mm. touch your finger. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> I, think, I, don't, I don't think they would fit your fingers, though. No, <laughs> no, no problem. Not anymore. No, no. <laughs> Not for bears. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What do you think of the, the crook? Koki. Yeah. How many coins? 3.5 floppy <laughs> coins. On a scale of? Five. Five. Okay. Yeah. With the 3.5, it's so okay. Well, to be honest, we wouldn't say this was the most typical Dutch chip. No. No. <laughs> the popular. Yes. Yeah. But, but, maybe, but maybe the one that is, is not available in a tiny bag. Yes. Uh, yes. That's good. I think, I guess, later, if you more eat, you might get more addicted to it. But so far, it's okay. It's... Oh yeah! Before you know it, if you have a large bag, before you know it, it's finished, and uh, that's, uh, that's how good. chips. That's, that's how, how chips every, work. That's how every bag yeah. of chips work. Yeah. Yes. Let's okay. This so second. I have the next one. Ooh. What's that? Ooh. Oh yeah! Yeah. yeah. Und Weizkuk. What does it say? It's the original. You shouldn't spoil it. You should like let them pronounce. Try to pronounce it first. Weinenburg. <laughs> Weinenburg. Yeah. Weinenburg. Okay. It's not included in the. No, it's not. Well, it's um uh, um ontbijtkoek, which means like breakfast cookie if you translate it literally. Okay. It's more like a bready, cakey. Yeah. Slice it's like a slice of cake. Yeah, but, but oh, here ah. it says it's a classic Dutch meat. This gingerbread has been baked in the Netherlands for almost 130 years. Yeah, it's on a lot of breakfast tables in the yeah. morning. Usually, Definitely. usually people get like uh, butter and then put butter on it, and yeah. also sugar, like some people do, mm -hmm. and it's very good. <laughs> Yeah, you have different flavors. You have them with extra ginger. You have them with extra sugar. You even have them with chocolates. Yeah. But um, I also use it for something else. Oh, really? I use it when I have um, stewed stewed meats. Mm -hmm. I put this in because it's it gives it a spicy flavor, and it binds the liquid into a sauce, so you have a better gravy. Oh. But it's better when you, if you eat it like this, it's better when you have some uh, butter on it. Okay. It's kind of fluffy me. It's not hard. If I was with like a toast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's soft. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you have also versions of this with like sugar coated on the sides. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's, it's, good. Not but it's, uh, it's more like a breakfast kind of food. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but they now also have like we have we have it in the drawer. Yeah. The tiny ones. Yeah. We have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gingerbread. You can feel yeah. the yeah. gingerbread. Yeah. yeah. It's not sweet, it's not salty, savory it's, it's in between. In between. I give it a four. Me too. Yeah, we have it in a different, like a more bite-sized oh, okay. okay. thing. <laughs> and then there's fruit, dried fruit on it, and we're just he's just getting one of them, and that's what you bring with you if you want a snack during the day, because it's it's it does fill you up quite well. Look, yeah, we just we we have this, we have this stuff so, at home. This is like a, a different <laughs> version. <laughs> yeah, it, it's supposed to be healthy because it has fruit. Like oh. said, fruit <laughs> are over here. Oh, the other one is nice. <laughs> the other words. Tussendoor. Tussendoor. Which means in between. It's like a, a snack. Oh. So this is what it's like. Yeah. Oh, we can eat something now. Yeah, That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, you're welcome. 
<laughs> Thank you. I didn't even think so, of this one. And you can tell that it has like all this sugary stuff on the side, even though it's <laughs> here. You don't have. Go mm. ahead. We can share. <laughs> it's a so, what kind of fruits are there? Oh, they say apple and raisins. It's apple, like, apple and rosinen. It's like super sugary. Mm. It's good. It's like sugar. Pure sugar. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. this one is just halfway and it's already finished. Already finished. <laughs> the first one. But, is it, but this, is, this is supposed to be in there. Very good choice. But the, but the annoying thing about this is that it gets stuck between your teeth. I... Yeah, I got some. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll find out during the day that it, that it doesn't get, get out. <laughs> you can remember. Oh, yes, too. <laughs> it lasts you. Don't forget all. about it for a while. Now I have another one. Is Wow. That's the name of it, according to this. Okay, this. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like this. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if I like this either. What does it say? Is it salty or sweet? Okay, the Dutch are serious about black licorice, and there can be none more black than those classic licorice bites. Hmm. I think I might like it because in Netherlands, in Hungary, they have the Negro. It's a polemic brand called Negro, but it's the same licorice thing. But, then, because of... but this brand is Fenko. I think Fenko is the most popular brand for licorice. Yeah. yeah. But I hate it. I really hate he, it. He doesn't, he doesn't like it. any licorice at all. No. Either do I. I get out of the room if I even smell it because it's... Ugh. Do you like it? I don't even know because I, we never I, have it. I, I like salty licorice. Hmm. So if these are salty, I would like them. If they're not, I, I would not like them. <laughs> I remember this. They're for me. They're very hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll try sucking on. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> licorice. Okay. Yeah. I think you're very brave oh, in this. So is it salty <laughs> or sweet? Uh, halfway. It's not salty. But not yeah. <laughs> <His face. laughs> yeah, I can understand. I feel your pain. Really, I, I, I do. I, I, I really <laughs> hope they have salmiak in there. Yeah, That's, probably. That would be interesting. <laughs> That's like the best thing you can eat <laughs> as a as a as a non-Dutch person. <laughs> At the Hungarian, most Hard candy. This is more chewy. Yeah, there's some. I like to have this. I think I'm gonna be the one. Yeah. You can have it. You do four. I need to I do two. Two. You know I'm not a, a licorice. If I oh. have licorice, it's usually red. And when I was younger, we had red like they were like strings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That. Well, there, you, it's this pop, It's so popular here that a lot of uh, places where you get ice cream, they have a licorice flavored ice cream. <laughs> I would try. Well, at least it's creamy and s slightly sweeter. But I never. Ugh, no, no, no. I, but it was to be expected that this would be in the box, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we, we did have we do have a drink. The thing is a drink. Oh yeah. Oh, but that's not Dutch. It's, no, it's, that's it's that's not Sur Dutch. It's Suriname. <laughs> yeah, it's not from the Netherlands. It's from Suriname. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but first I'm from South America. I never had a Suriname thing. Yeah. Yeah. This sweet and sparkly cherry soda is a popular treat throughout the Netherlands. Well, that's true, but it's not Dutch. <laughs> ah. Suriname is so funny. I never had a Suriname thing before. No. Nope. Well, so far for Brazilians, it's a neighbor, but it's far, far, 1939. far. 1939. And of course, this should be, you should drink this chilled, but oh yeah. well. So I, I've actually heard like this is like the go to drink for people who go to, go to coffee shops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a strong bouquet. Oh, yeah. It's like fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm. liquid sugar. It's really sweet. Wait, the camera is blurry. You're a bit blurry. 
Does that guy have a bubble gum? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. That's true. There's there's one with a there's a green can as well. There's a yellow can. I think there are, one is with melon and one is with pineapple. I don't remember all the flavors, but, but... it's it's um, it's sweeter than the other soft drinks that you can get. It's more like Mountain Dewy, maybe. Okay. I don't think it, I would compare it a little. Yeah. It's it's just I've never tasted anything like it. No, elsewhere. No. That's, no. That's, that's, I feel like oh. a bubble gum and then like a syrup kind of thing, like a medication <laughs> thing. That's, that's no, always good. No, no, it there's tastes a, like medication. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's it's um, it's funny that they put that in actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't think that would be the the soft drink that would be in it. <laughs> I guess I guess they go by what's popular. Even if it's not really Dutch or from the country, it means it's popular. I guess maybe why. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it is. It definitely is unique. Yeah, unique, unique to, to this place. Yeah. So now no Suriname flavor. Yeah. What's this? Cigar? Okay, it looks like a cigar. Okay, I think it's the uh, can canel stock. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's a blast from the past. It's a you know <laughs> it's it's a cinnamon stick. Oh, okay. there are two kids kissing here. Oi! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so cute. I when know. I took it out, I thought it was a cigar. Okay, well, maybe that works too. I've never tried that, but <laughs> does it say anything to suck it or? <laughs> it just says a classic Dutch snack. This cinnamon flavored treat is often sold at street fairs and carnivals. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, they... guess, I guess you could, could like snap it, and you have, could have both have a piece. True. For sure, the different shape. <laughs> Unusual. Okay, go for it. Oh, he broke it. So it's like this. Like a... I like the smell. Oh, yes. Oh. It's very cinnamony. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Onion. Mm. <laughs> it reminds me of something. It's strong cinnamon. Yep. 4.5. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. I like cinnamon. I think it's been, it's been forever. It's been forever. It's been forever since I've had one of these. I don't even remember the texture, to be honest. It's like a kind of broccoli. Uh, like, like it's, uh, can you say that in English? Crumbly. Crumbly. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it crumbles in your mouth when you chew on the, on the, on the stuff. Mm. So, so we missed out on one very important word when you like something you eat. We say lecker. 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 So do you think lecker. it's lecker or not? Like it. I like lecker it. Lecker times two. Lecker times two. Well, that's good. <laughs> the funny shape, well, a few things, a cigar, but it tastes good, actually. The thing crumbling really in your like mouth it. is like, mm, mm, I'm a really good. 4.5. Wow! Up each other. That's a good one. My this Brazilian thing you have a pastoca is a, a peanut peanut candy. It looks like the same, mm. it's shorter, but eating is the same feeling. I really like it, and it's not gonna last long. Uh oh, another now is the concurrent of the other one, the cookie. Oh, what, what? Yeah, the cookie. Oh. Now you have the <laughs> Aha! Finally! Ooh, ah, bingo! That's the one! <laughs> <laughs> you predicted correctly. <laughs> yeah, this is very typical. So it says these chips are flavored with mustard, onion, curry, mayo, also known Jesus. as Joppy Sauce. Oh, oh, wait, wait, we have a, a sauce that goes with the French fries or the, the fries, the Dutch fries. And, it, and the sauce is contains like onions and what he just yeah, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it kind of tastes like, in my opinion, kind of kind of tastes like pickle lily. Yeah. Do, do you, is that an American thing as well? I don't know. Mm, I think I'm gonna like this a lot. <laughs> okay, we're going to open it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> There's a. So, but did, to be honest, this is the one, well, clearly the one we were waiting for. And it's really typically Dutch. I think they, they had a contest yeah. for this, this flavor, mm. and they had two other flavors that it was in a contest with. And this one won like years ago. Wow. It's very mustardy. Yes. We have a friend who, in Brazil who hates this. He would never eat this at all. He <laughs> hates mustard, sausage. This is not going to last very long. It's a different flavor, actually. It's different. Yeah, actually, you just revealed the secret of the recipe by naming all the ingredients. Nobody knows what's in Yopi's house. <laughs> It's interesting comparing to the bolognese thing here we really smell the taste the the mustard we really feel it yeah and it means several things there just we expect to taste the bolognese doesn't come much but this one you feel it like oh yeah it is it also kind of it also kind of tastes like the sauce you get at the dutch mcdonald's <laughs> um, they have something for the french fries which you cannot get anywhere else as far as i know and it yeah. tastes slightly like this like greeny greenish looking sauce no yeah, it's very strange that they developed this for the netherlands but it's, it's something i haven't seen anywhere else and it's the sauce you get with your french fries at mcdonald's yes yeah I like it. I really like it. I'll get four points. Four point five. Oh, it's, it's, it's so it's it's lecker. Lecker. Yeah. Lecker times three. Lecker, lecker. Lecker times three again. Wow. But I, this, but I figured this one would be in. Yeah. But this is a favorite. Don't forget. That's the interesting about this comparing. That mm -hmm. I remember all this taste kind of thing. It even reminds me of the sauce in the Big Mac, a little bit. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, kind of, yeah. But, but this one, the, the other. Like, oh, yeah. I had yeah, the bolognese was just. forget, oh, but that you it, remember. It's chips. Yeah, awesome. I didn't really feel much bolognese. But the mm. mustard, you feel the layers kind of thing. If you feel the mustard, it comes from something else. It mixes. It's very. This is going to be finished by tonight. Oh, bye. <laughs> Don't forget your cinema. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's Patashi Yopi. Yopi. Pataki Yopi. Pataki Yopi? Pataki Yopi. Pataki Yopi. Pataki Yopi. Oh boy, there's another bag. Ah. Another Lay's. Oh, El Paprika. Oh, oh Bokul, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, so we, this, these are Bokuls. Bokuls. Okay, so it's a crunchy corn snack with a literal twist and dusted in savory paprika flavor. So there's a Hungarian thing on this. So ah. it's... Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's Hungarian. It's not goulash, but yeah. Aronki, the one you get from the first package from Germany, there was the first snack of the paprika. Cur curry or something. Yeah, and then funny. I think oh. the one in, we had in the Russian, there's some paprika. Paprika is, I guess, it's paprika. It's like we only have chips in Holland. <laughs> yes. It's like a pasta. Very straight. It's fusilli. No, it's uh, yeah, fusilli. So this. That's the, yeah. that's the name of the shape, right? Fusilli. Fusilli? No, Fusilli is the name of the pasta that has the shape. Yeah. yeah. But we say vocal. <laughs> After that one, the mustard, this is bland. Comparing. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Yeah. I give this a three and a half. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. bad. It's just, we have the bolognese. And, like, eh. and then yeah. the mustard. Oh. Yeah. To this. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Understood. It's you good. Can... You didn't have a lunch. That's why you're compensating here. <laughs> it's good. I prefer that than the oh, bonus. Yes. Me too. Correct. <laughs> Be number two so far. Okay. We we have a lot of more but like Dutch chips that are like strange shapes, but that's. I think that's also common in, uh, in other countries. Yeah, like hum Humkas is very popular. Yeah. Wow. This no. one is going to be very popular. 
Which one? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, I remember the previous oh, one. Don't, don't spoil it. <laughs> yeah. Jure Makis. Fruit flavored sour gummy ribbons are intense, but balanced with sweetness. To compensate no. the mustard. <laughs> a mess, a stomach will be a mess in the end of this. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Give the opener. So, like so they're art by smack, which means strawberry flavored. But you've never eaten a strawberry that tastes like this. <laughs> in a good or bad way. Mm, it smells really good. No. no. This small. I like this kind of candy. Yep. Do you love sour candies? They look like uh, pieces of bacon. <laughs> yeah. They don't taste like bacon. <laughs> mm. And the brand oh. is the brand is Katya. But is this is it sour? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think I think the green ones are even more sour than this. But I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Sour and these are all red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jure Matjes means sour mats. So, it's intense. It does what it says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, three and a half. It's, it's good, but nothing. Three and a half. Yeah. I like it. I'm sure he's not going to eat that. So, I will. No, I'll eat that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. So, there's probably two of these things, three of these things that I'd eat again <laughs> the cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> the. No, number one is the chips with the mustardy. Yopi shaush. Yeah. Yeah. And then the one we just, the sour. So you don't want to the, this. Okay. Oh, no, that's no. that's all for you. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you can have the black licorice. You can have it your country. <laughs> you can have it all. You can have it all. And I kiss you after that. Another one? Oh. Ooh. My department. Uh, is this the one we've all been waiting for? Yes. Uh -huh. Of course, this is the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> ah. Strope waffles. Strope waffles. Oh, caramel. Soft toasted chocolate waffles filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. Oh, boy. So oh, we're going to get drunk, right? Did they say chocolates? Yes. Really? Soft toasted chocolate waf waffles. I'm saying it Brazilian style. Filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. Can we see the packaging one more time? Sure. Oh, oh this is a special one. Yeah. Different. Okay. So it's with chocolate, which is quite uncommon, actually. Yeah. Never seen that before. Well, yeah, the, you have so many different flavors, but this is the... This is the go-to gift when you when you go abroad and you want to get something that's typically Dutch and doesn't go stale very fast. It's more like the the more vanilla version of Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Or well, you can even get them with rosemary and with coffee flavor and yeah, they just experiment a whole lot now. But it's uh it's the it's the go-to thing that you bring. I think we prefer the ones Made with Rome Bowser. Yeah, yeah. It says, it, says, it says on the package here, made with Rome Bowser. So that's like creamy butter. Real butter. Real, real butter. Yeah. yeah. Well, ours looks like this. Like a, mm. a big size. Mm. Big. I'm already smiling. <laughs> so we'll try it. <laughs> oh, they're so good. But you have a very fancy one. <laughs> Chocolate and bourbon. Wow. But it's just it's just one in the package, right? True. True. Okay. Mm. We don't I think the chocolate overpowers everything inside. It can't really I can't feel any vanilla or I couldn't mm. tell much. The chocolate is good, it's just strong. It means oh that's so true. Cute. When you when you visit Holland, we will take you to the market, and there they have all. They most of markets have fresh 
stroke waffle stands where you can just get a fresh one in there. Yeah. They're like this big. And mm. what it's, yeah. What I also like to do with these is like put them in the microwave for like 20, yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah. So they like, they're a little bit warm and they taste kind of like how, how they do when, when they're freshly made. Mm. Four is good. I like it. You no, just don't feel, it. you don't feel much what they say. It's like, it even like, says, that's place a on a cup of hot coffee or tea to soften hot the caramel. Yeah, people yeah. put it on top. Yeah, that's true. Mm. There's one fun fact I know about strobe waffles. At the uh, duty-free shops at Schiphol, so Amsterdam Airport, it is um, in uh, value and amount the most sold product on Schiphol. Wow. <laughs> It, nothing beats the sales of stroopwafels at the airports because everyone, they come in. They come in these nice tins with a delft blue pattern on it, so it makes a nice gift, which is affordable and nice to eat. And then you have a fun blue tin left to use for other stuff. With it, this kind of a pattern? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, with the 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 the, the thing on the right. Oh no, that's left for you. That's the kissing couple. Okay. And uh, so that's the girl and the boy kissing. Yeah. But you, can, you can buy them in ceramics as well. And then you also have two girls kissing and two boys kissing. Oh, my update. La la la. It's, it's a, no, but that's a fun gift. I mean, it's, a, it's all good here. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I'm going to try later the coffee mug thing. See. Yeah, when, it, when it's slightly heated, it's it's uh, because then the center gets a little bit more liquid. Yeah, I just yeah. I just don't know how it will work with the chocolate but, uh, around yeah. it, like because the chocolate will probably melt a little bit. Maybe it was on one side. Was the chocolate on one side or both? Both. Both. Ah. I honestly didn't really feel much of a caramel or bourbon yeah. or vanilla. No. Yeah. You should taste. I, I it. Know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just put them in the microwave for like 10, 10 seconds or something. And yeah, perfect. These ones I'm definitely. Try these are, we'll try with the other one. These ones definitely get a four and a half from us. Ah. <laughs> I give it a four. Me too. Oh, that's a good. That's good. It's like you really feel chocolate. At least. So let's do some of the fun fact questions or comments. Let's see if you agree with that. So on average, Dutch men are the tallest people in the world. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think it's 181 average. Yeah, that's true. I think the Swedes are second, but yeah, the Dutch men are the tallest in the world on average. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, next, the, the Dutch are the largest consumers of licorice. Mm -hmm. Eating over 70 million pounds every year. Well, I'm not. He's not one of them. I'm not one of them. I'm not hoping <laughs> to reach this amount, but yeah, it must be true. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a typical Dutch treat, so probably yes. Probably. Okay. The audio tape, videotape, and the CD were all invented in Eindhoven. By the Dutch company Philips. Yeah, that's true. I and thought the, it was just a CD. How about the CD? You can still tell because the the hole in a CD it has the exact same size as the ten cent coin oh, when yeah. you used to have uh, uh, guilders as the currency. Ah, yeah. before we had euros, we had guilders, and the ten cent coin used to fit in 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 the center hole of a compact disc. <laughs> Interesting. And the 10 cent coin was the smallest coin circulating in the world at that time. And uh, because the, it just fits right in, that's how you can tell it's a Dutch invention. <laughs> wow, three, one for all. So it's true, yeah. Okay, so there are two more. Mm -hmm. There are more bikes, over 18 million in the Netherlands, than there are people. Yep. True. Because everybody rides bicycles yeah, that's everywhere. True. So. And there are 17 million Dutch people in Holland, so there is uh, one point uh, for every person. Yeah, that's true. 
I used to bike to the train station in Busun mm -hmm. and take the train to work. And then I went back, there was a park there, and then went home. Even I did. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm... <laughs> and of course, you have many rental, rental options if you just visit, like tons, really. Yeah. Maybe it's... even the train station offers rental bikes themselves. Yep. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Known global globally as the flower shop of the world, more than 75% of the world's flower bulbs come from the Netherlands each year. Yep, that's also true. Yeah, there's a um, Veiling auction, flower auction building in Holland. It's in Aalsmeer. And it used to be the biggest um, building uh, in square meters uh, in the world. Of course, it's been surpassed by now, but it used to be very. Uh, it used to be the biggest, and yeah, there's a. It's it's a quite strange that we with so few uh, uh, surface on this planet that we make so much bulbs for some reason. And uh, in Brazil, the Dutch founded this little. Now it's a town called Olambra. They all the flowers in Brazil come from Olambra. It's a Dutch. It was just a village, became a city, it's a whole Dutch thing there, even tourists, everything. Ah, okay. Out there. So we have an influence there in Brazil. Interesting. Yeah, and people think the tulip is Dutch. No. Which, which by now it is, but it doesn't originate in the Netherlands. No. It's Turkish. <laughs> yes, we heard that. In uh, Vatican in Vatican City, uh, during the Easter celebrations. The, the Pope, uh, I don't know if he do, still does it, but he used to say, bedankt voor de bloemen yeah. uit Nederlands, which means thank you for the flowers from the Netherlands, because the uh, St. Peter's Square was filled with flowers from the Netherlands every year. So that's, uh, and he learned this Dutch, or you have to learn this Dutch sentence when you become Pope, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That would be interesting. Okay, so the next thing. Going back to the original. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get frutella here. Really? Yeah, we say fruitella, but yeah. Fruitella. Of course, fruitella. Yeah, it's several colors have several flavors. Flavor. Uh, okay. Um, well, I've never been much of a fan of candy, but this one I did buy when I was younger. Yeah. But yeah, we, I used to buy it when I was younger too. I, like, I got the green, he got the purple. Purple. Just to... I just like put, put like five of them in my mouth and then just mix all the flavors <laughs> <laughs> at once. Yep. That's a good idea. So, mm. I'm going to stick in my mouth again. Mm -hmm. I like this. Never goes wrong. Yeah. Know? 4.5. <laughs> yeah, but you're familiar with the taste. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Haven't had it in a long time, yeah. but but we can get this in the store. And it's named, it has the same name. Yeah. Ah, okay. So 4.5 to, I'm copying your coins. So this is a cookie called Windmill. And you knew. Oh, speculas. Yeah. It's speculas. In your print. Well, no. yeah. I was. I was uh, on the fence if I would bring stroopwafels tonight or speculaas. They even have speculaas flavored stroopwafels. Mm -hmm. And um, yep, there they are, windmills. People, yeah, make, yeah, people make this at home. People make this at home. They have a lot of people have like this wooden. It looks like a cutting board, but it makes the shape of the windmill. Um, uh, and then you have speculas, it's very good. Yeah. It's uh, spice, ginger, yeah. Yeah. ginger, spice, ginger. And a broken little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of. Oh, it's fresh. <laughs> it's very crunchy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. And I like it. How you would eat during Sinterklaas? Yeah. It's kind of like a gingerbread taste. Yeah. 
Mm, I'm going to have coffee if this would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very good. A lot of people have uh, in their herb cabinets, they have uh, speculaas kruiden, which means the spices. spices from this cookie in a jar to put over stews or other foods. Not necessarily sweet, also uh, to combine with savory dishes. They're very good. Yeah, yeah, these are good. And often you see them also with almond flakes on it. I have only one, damn it. <laughs> I know. You have to share one windmill. <laughs> they should prioritize. Oh, they have two. Yay, Yay. they have two. Oh, lucky. <laughs> one for later. So much packaging for one cookie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so the next one is the last thing. Uh huh. Oh, no. I should dig in the box. Just <laughs> yeah, it is the last thing. Oh, okay. So they're and there are like five of these. What's that? Oh, actually, yes. Yeah. The camera doesn't. No, no, it's 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 Haagse hopjes. Yeah. Haagse. You're definitely not gonna want to chew on these. I no. <laughs> it's good that you have these last because they take a while to dis to dissolve. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh oh. So it's named after Baron Hendrik Hopp, a noted coffee lover. These coffee candies have been made since the late 1700s. Look, is the last one, so can you talk? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. I remember because my grandmother is from The Hague, and it's called an Haags hopje. Haags means from The Hague. Yeah, and um, because The Hague is pronounced Den Haag, Den Haag or or Schravenhagen. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, my grandmother used to have these all the time. She had them in a bowl, and but do you like them? Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. They're, oh. Yeah, they're coffee-flavored sweets. Yeah. yeah. Mocha. I, 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 I ate these when there was nothing else in the house. Like, everything <laughs> else that was good was gone. <laughs> yeah, because it's so small, you can hide somewhere. Oh, it's hidden there. Go. Luckily, we have three more. Oh, you like them? Yeah. Liquor. I'm not much of a coffee person, but I like it. Hmm, good. Far yeah, but it's... It's really old fashioned and I I can't remember when I had it last. It's been ages. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, it's good. What's the last one? Yeah. I know. They tease you, but then <laughs> Ah, okay. So so, so food so food wise, we had the right stuff here. So we had stroopwafels, we had uh, patatje joppie chips, and we had pijnenburg ons bij het koek. <laughs> on the drinks department, um, you have one drink, right? Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, which isn't really Dutch. And um, we took, we, we have two, well, what we think are Dutch drinks. One is, um, let me just get one. It's called Fristi. Look, Fristi. 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 And um, this used to be made by Nutricia. Ah. Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not anymore because Nutricia now only makes baby food, I think. You need to shake it. Because it contains uh, Eiffel, dairy. Dairy, yeah. So it's, it's like a, a dairy yogurt drink. Yogurt kind of, yeah, it's like a yogurt kind of drink. Yeah, what's the baby food department? I was doing it with the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fristy. Don't think I say frisky. It's just frisky. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, like Dutch people make jokes when they go to, go to a bar and then they say, like, I'm going to order a frisky, like, it, because it's like a, a kid's drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one other brand that sells the same stuff and it's called Vicky. <laughs> I haven't had this in, in forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is something that you buy. For your children to take to school. And this is this is also, also pink. Like yeah, oh, it's pink. very pink. It tastes pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like the the, the drink too. That tastes yeah, pink. It takes... No, but I would think this is a typical Dutch drink. And it's um, well, I would give this a, a two and a half maybe. But I, 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 
It's a, no sugar, but it's like really sweet. Oh, well, <laughs> how, how, is that, how is that possible? So the other the other drink we have, and this we have at home like regularly all, all the time. <laughs> yeah. we, always, we always have this, and it's um, it's called um, Cossis. Cossis. Yeah. Cossis. And it's the original. The original, or you can clear it. No. They the might have this in the stores because I know the brand Hero. Yeah. So you can find them in stores, but I don't know about Cassis. It's a well, it is a Dutch brand, Hero, but um, it's made from uh, fermented blackberries. Hmm? But it's it's this is like the on the drink scale, this would probably be a five on soft drinks. Yeah. 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 This is very good. Oh, just is it fizzy or fizzy? sparkly or is it? Yeah. yeah also, like, like Fanta also has a variation of this, but it's not as good as this one. No. Nope. And, and they also have like a, a cherry flavored one by this brand, which is supposedly made in Zeeland. Well, the, 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 no, the, the blackberries and the cherries are, uh, um, are from Zeeland, but it's made in Breda. Zeeland is the province in the lower left of the country. Nope. Oh, okay. So these were the ones that we thought would be in either of these would be in the box and not the Suriname. No, that's funny. <laughs> oh yeah. I can tell you I can show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Well like that's to show the color of that's how it looks like. Ah, yeah. It looks pink. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's kind of like purple, the purplish, pink, purplish pink. pink. No, and it's uh, it's the same color as the Suriname thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What if you drink it inside the tube? It's just about it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. good. <laughs> yeah. It's the best. Mm. Yeah, it's mezzo mix. Okay. <laughs> now let's see the. Oh, looks, yeah. it looks like the same color as the the one here. Yeah, it's the same color. I can't, can't. Oh, but it has a totally different yeah, flavor. It's, it's a totally different. You, if you get get a ch chance ever, try. Uh, try yeah, I get process. it. If you yeah. see it on the shelf, get one. Okay. Like, it's, it's like a grape soda, but it's in the in the U.S. They have like grape soda, but it's more like sweet. Okay. And, and this is more a little bit soury. Sweet. So I think what, what what what's the difference between sodas here and sodas in other countries is that the sodas in other countries are more like really sweet all the time, and here we have more like a soury sweet sodas sometimes like bitter lemon. Have you ever heard of bitter lemon? No, probably not. <laughs> That's my favorite soda ever. Like it's a it's a mixture of tonic. And uh, lemon lemon soda. It's very sour, yeah. sour sweet. And, and and that's, that's, that's that's my favorite flavor. <laughs> like uh, we we like things that are sour and sweet. <laughs> uh, and that's the interesting about the package is why we do this box because you can learn about different cultures, different cultures, and... different things. There's a cool thing. The box is mostly correct, of course. What what he doesn't like, but what should have been in there is cheese, of course, but. Yeah, I know. I wish they did. I love. He's he's the he's like the world's biggest cheese fan, <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> he's what? the biggest cheese hater. <laughs> Dutch cheese hater. Okay, I'm Brazilian. I like, I don't like fish. So okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I like cheese and pizzas and, uh, and and pastas and that kind of stuff, but I don't like it uncooked. <laughs> oh wow. We, we call it dead cheese. That's the only cheese he likes. <laughs> <laughs> and interesting, out of the boxes we tried from the other ones, these are good box comparing because yeah. the German was good box. This, the Hawaiian was was weird. It's, a lot, it's more like candies. Yeah, a lot of little candies. With candies. There's no much like this. More, not, I think it was more interesting. Yeah, this one. And then Russia was, which was half. Yeah, but I think it was, that was more. The more variety of things. I think that's the winner, right? 
you're having oh, me yeah. in your head right now. That's the winner. <laughs> I'm surprised in the cinema. You have, you have more. <laughs> uh, we'll be right there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. So the box we have to send you guys is filled with cinnamon sticks, yopi chips, and uh, proper straw. Yeah, but a big bag. Please. Yeah, yeah, of course. It, it's, it's like too bad that you only get ready-made food because, like, you should have had bitterballa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bitterballa or, or, or a croquette. Or, croquette or, yeah. or a cashew yeah. play. Oh, yeah. All yeah. these, all these Dutch inside. snacks that are, are from out of the deep fryer, fryer are really good. <laughs> that sounds good. And it may have the little punk cakes. Like a... Uh, oh, yeah. He loves them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With lots of uh, icing, sugar, and butter, then they're awesome. <laughs> I remember that. And the croquette, every time I go to the train station, I was hungry to get the croquette from the windows there. The, yeah. The boy, get yep. from the window. yeah, that's something, I think that's something typically Dutch that you have, it's called an automatique. Yep. And then you put money in the door, and then you open this tiny window, and you get your snack. And it's, although it's often lukewarm, it's still, a huge treat for some reason. <laughs> they're heated. They're, 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 yeah, 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 they're, they're, they're heated, heated, but they lose their crunch or their temperature because they've been there for like an hour. It's like so convenient. You don't, <laughs> you're going to catch a train, and then when you're on your way to the train, you just put a, put a euro or yep. two in and then grab a little snack, and then you can go again. You don't have to wait in line or anything. It's like no. really convenient. But you have these automatica for so many things right now. I think I tried them in the U.S. at some, some places. Well, I know you, and you have an automatic where you can get eggs, and you have an automatic where you can get breads, and so you have all these. Um, I think I saw one in Germany that had like a milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was in the supermarket. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I saw they're doing for pizza here, especially the pandemic became an easier way. So you go there, there's no touch. Yeah, you go put the, there's a different windows. And yeah, outside get, downtown. Yeah. There's always for the pandemic times too. You don't oh, yeah. anything, just go boom, done. Hmm? That's a way to do the experience. So thank you so much, you guys. It was really, yeah, really thank you. cool. Thank you for having us. We had a lot of fun. So we have a lacquer time. Yeah, lacquer very time. Lacquer time. Very <laughs> a lacquer time. It was lots of fun. So I'd like to thank Amos and Eric for joining us. It was so cool. First time we did this with another couple. Yeah, it was very interesting. It was cool. And uh, have you tried products from Netherlands before? Or tsunami? <laughs> <laughs> have you? Or other countries you tried before? And uh, what countries do you think you should try next yeah. time? Let us know. Yes. Yeah, so meanwhile, don't forget to like our page, subscribe, follow click on, us. Click on the bell so you get a, a message saying that we've posted something new. And most important, you stay fluffy.